We will begin tonight with my finger on your trigger. Written by Ms. Jess Bardogallo, directed by Brooke O'Hara. Episode 9, Room for Cream. I 
Missy, bro. I miss you a lot. I don't know why I'm calling. This is so stupid. I was just looking at some of those pictures of us at New Year's, and you were wearing this sick dress. And let me tell you, I am thinking some not so PG thoughts right now. What are we doing, Lace? You can't keep avoiding my calls. Dyer! Oh, Dyer, I really need your help over here. Hang on, I'm on the phone. But, Penny, I can't grease this rim all by myself. <laughs> oh, I'll grease your rim all right. <laughs>
But it really lent for some awesome sex. Oh my god, let me tell you. Yeah, see, check this out. She would fight, 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 fight. And she'd slam the door in my face. Yes, it's totally rocking. And she'd scream at me and go, I hate you, you misogynist asshole. Yeah, <laughs> and then I'd open the door. She'd stand there, but no, no, no. She's cut her neck. No, no. <laughs> before that damn Tahira showed up. Listen, I don't think you have anything to worry about, Robbie. Ellie loves you. She stands by you. Yeah. You guys have a really great life together. Yeah, well, it hasn't been that great lately. Okay, last night, before I came and found you, we had this huge fight. And I threw a lot of stuff in her face, and I just walked out. I didn't even give her a chance to respond. Oh, come on, what was the fight about? Did you forget to put the toilet seat down again? <laughs> I don't know, Dad. I can tell you about, you know, like, feeling neglected. like. Ready to start a new chapter in my life and not being sure she wants the same things I do. Come on, Robbie. It'll pass these things always do. You know, lovers quarrels, right? Hey, hey, maybe the two of you should go on vacation together. Oh yeah, you guys should go to Mexico. Go on an Olivia cruise. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I really can't believe you just said that. Uh, hey, aren't I allowed a few pleasures in this life too, huh? <laughs> hey, you know what? Maybe you guys are right. Maybe all we need is a little R and R. Okay, Grandma, so let's get this show back on the road. Woo -hoo.
<laughs> wow, this is a pretty neat place you got here. Gosh, the woodworking is unbelievable. Oh, you're still praying. I can do that too. <laughs> Yes. Repeat after me. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Very good. I have to tell you something. I'm not really a Catholic. I didn't think so. I was kind of one once. I went to parochial school until I was ten. And did you enjoy your time in God's house? It was all right. Oh, but I like the uniforms. Yes, well, you'll fit right in here. <laughs> Don't these get a bit heavy? When I think of the burdens that Christ carried for me, this robe feels as light as a feather. But tell me, why have you come here? <laughs> Are you looking for advice? A refuge within these four walls? Volunteer workers for the Family Values Carnival at Lennox? <laughs> oh, actually, I'm a lesbian, you see. Will you be performing at the carnival? Gosh, <laughs> <laughs> she scared me. Well, is it okay for you to be talking to me? Yes, yes. All God's children are the same in my eyes. And at the same time, uniquely beautiful and special in their own right. A lovely contradiction, to be sure. <laughs> what has brought you here today? The confusion? Uncertainty? Well, yes. But not about my sexuality. You see, I, my, someone I loved very deeply was taken from me. And she was a righteous and wonderful woman with a very big heart. What was her name, if I might ask? Jill. Jill Andrews. <gasps> Jill. You knew her? Everyone knew Jill. She was such an old soul. She came to me often for counsel. About what, if you don't mind my asking? She was confused, much as you are now. She wanted to do good in this world, but she was torn. There were demons in her midst. Oh, you mean like father issues and forging a queer identity in a male-dominated field? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> she could never really tell me, only that she wanted to do good in this world, and she wasn't always sure that her actions lived up to the standard she had set for herself to live by. Oh, Jill, she was always so hard on herself. I see you're having a hard time letting her go. <laughs> you carry those ashes with you everywhere? It's the only thing I have left. But that's where I believe you're wrong. I know what you're going to say. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Well, that's not what I need to hear right now. Scripture aside, I believe that Officer Andrews touched you very deeply. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the only place she touched me. <laughs> In your eyes, I see the Holy Spirit dancing. Reverend Mother, do you think it will be okay if I stay here for a little while? Our arms are always open, but it is not an easy life that we lead. I know, I know all about it. The vows, obedience, poverty, and... and I knew them all. Chastity. <laughs> Chastity. <laughs> <laughs> the final and most difficult promise a young sister can make. Chastity. Yes. I have to go and say goodbye to my friends. There will be a room waiting for you here when you return. Officer Andrews is very lucky to have you. Ah, oh, excuse me. I'm so sorry. I've forgotten your name. Oh, Jane. Jane O'Boyle. Jane. I'm glad you've come. Wow, what strong hands you have, Mother. Yes. <laughs> well, it's all the gardening. <laughs> <laughs> so good for me, Ellie. Why didn't you tell me you were sick? I, I didn't want to frighten you any more. 
more than I already had. You are so beautiful. What is it? What's wrong with you? I am ill, Ellie. I was attacked by a drug runner in the port of Karachi oh, before I made it to the States. <laughs> he mistook me for an undercover agent. He and his men applied massive weights to my chest. I barely escaped. What have they done to you? Oh, my precious, my precious. The trauma caused an infection. I was in a hospital. I was on a ventilator. The doctors said I developed acute respiratory distress disorder. They tried to help me, but I left before the treatment was complete. I had to find you. You cannot do this to me again. I am not going to lose you twice. Wake up! Wake oh, up! Oh my goodness, Tahira! Oh my god, as her pulse is fading, we gotta get her to a hospital. Dyer, I'll need you to carry Tahira. Dad, you wait here with me for Grace. I'll need your help if you run into any unwanted elements. Okay. 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 Come on. Okay. Come on. Okay. 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 We've been up and down the woods. I don't think Bailey's out here. We're gonna have to circle back to Cream and look for clues and show up shop. You go with them, Ellie. You're all to hear a house. Robbie, I'm so scared. Oh, it's gonna be okay. Okay, 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 okay. okay. I don't think I'm gonna but do it not the last load, right? Okay, all right, go, Ellie, bond is often laced with sexual undertones. <laughs> From our loins, these strange creatures emerge, and sometimes we just want to keep them back inside forever. <laughs> babies. When you give suck for the first time, you understand. Perhaps you already have. You can suck? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, some text from the hospital for Esmeralda. Ugh, this new technology is pedestrian toil. Esmeralda! <laughs> Esmeralda! She possessed her mother's spirit. So you abandoned her? Yes, I did. It was the 70s. <laughs> 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 Jill was destined to become a slayer? Yes. Children of vampires often are, and destiny has a way of happening regardless of our petty attempts to thwart it. Well, Jill, she was destined to be a slayer. She was. And I, I had just been living quietly in Sappho for years. I was. Choosing my victims with care, I kept a small circle of young girls around me to feed and to be fed. And I heard word that there was this new law enforcer in town. She was specializing in crimes outside of the mortal realm. I paid little mind. I told my girls to lay low, take a holiday, relax. <laughs> I ate less. I drank less. I lost control of my coven. Next thing I know, they're getting involved with the living in all sorts of sordid ways, and I suppose that's how you met Esmeralda. Mm -hmm. And that's what happened the night Jill went out. Yes. She was looking to slay, to purge this town of its evil. Good. So I went out. I left my grave. I made my way to the circle. There was a young girl straggling away from the crowd. She looked delicious. Did I let her go? <laughs> there was she standing there brandishing a gun full of silver bullets. Tall, brave. I knew I had met my match. But I could tell that she couldn't kill. 
she had never killed and she would never kill. So I took the woman and I slammed my stake in her heart. And as she died, she looked into my eyes and said, my mother, my mother. <laughs> Baby. It's okay. You made a mistake. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> I just want her to hit me one more time. <laughs> there, there. <gasps> Please don't bite me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Try 
to locate and capture this character for months. It's a damn shame. She was a nice piece of tail. <laughs> what a menace, nonetheless. <laughs> We're going to need a clean up crew and here's that. <sighs> oh, I am going to have to work on my stamina. Oh, I guess I'm going to have to start using those water weights when I do my laps at the Y. Oh, shit. You're telling me, Gracie, I think I just pissed my knickers. <laughs> Grace. Grace Tanny. Yes, uh, uh, that's me. Why? What is it? Are you from the IRS? You know, those lavender <laughs> candles were a business expense. <laughs> Damn turbo tax. Miss Annie. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Stephanie Lewis, and I'm an agent with the Federal Bureau of Investigation. I'm also your adopted daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.